today we're going to install Adobe Premiere Pro 2025. Let's jump into Google. Let's type in Adobe Creative Cloud as that's what we will need in order to download Premiere Pro. So let's jump onto the Adobe Creative Cloud website. As you can see, loads up. Let's jump into where it says sign in. And if you've not already got an account, definitely click on create an account and follow through the steps into your email, password, so on. If you've already got an account, let's go and sign in. Once you've signed in to your Adobe account, you're gonna get loaded up with the Adobe Creative Cloud online homepage. And today we're gonna to be installing Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna click on Premiere Pro and it should come up with the option to open Creative Cloud desktop app. If you've not already downloaded it, it will give you the option to download it. I've already got it installed. So then it's going to open the Creative Cloud desktop app. And now we're in the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app. So let's scroll down to the apps available. As you can see, everything's here from the cloud suite. Today we're gonna to install Premiere Pro. So we're gonna click install under the Premiere Pro icon. Now, as you can see under installed, we can see Premiere Pro currently is adding speech to text language packs. Okay, cool, there you go. Do you just want to quickly show it installing media encoder as well? So as you can see under installed, we now have Premiere Pro and we now have media encoder. So let's just open up Premiere Pro, make sure everything works okay. Amazing. So let's click on new project, choose a location and then click create to start your project. And then once you've opened it up, as you can see, you can now begin using Premiere Pro and it is fully installed. Let's just quickly give you an example to show you that it is working. So let's get a picture of Premiere Pro logo picture. So let's grab this. Put that on our desktop and then let's jump back into Premiere Pro so you can see it all works. So I'm going to drop it into the project folder on Premiere Pro and then I'm going to drag that into my timeline. As you can see, we've got a result. It is working. Just quickly show you guys it is working all good. There you go. We can play it. If you wanted, we could add a bit of motion. That'll be a tutorial for another day, but Let's just click scale here and scale 60 over here and just show you that we now have a video editing software. There you go guys. Thanks for watching everyone. Adobe Premiere Pro is working. If you guys are looking for any hacks to speed up your editing, check the link in the description. I've got a few editing packs available that are going to really speed up your workflow. So go and check those out and I'll see you in the next. Peace.